doing some heavy maintenance on the machine today. So I had this thermocouple here in this hole here. And I don't remember putting it in very tight, but it did grow into the hole slowly. When I went to take it out, it couldn't come up my finger tight. So I took a wrench to it and it snapped that little barrel connector. So now it is cracked and there's only one thing you can, well, two things you can do. One, you can throw it away, which I'm not going to do. The other is to fix it. So I did that to this one down here a while back. And I just glued that barrel together. And the best way I find to do is just to buy some JB Weld and glue it. Then you got to actually turn the whole wire and everything. It just doesn't just turn by the barrel itself. So Ryan says, don't tighten these more than hand tight, meaning don't even use a wrench. Just turn it by finger tight, put it in the hole. And uh, I highly recommend that too. I also put a little bit of this thermal paste in the hole. And you can see it on that one right there, a little bit over there. So that helps get the heat from the uh, metal into the thermocouple better. So yes, this one is broken, but it's not trashed yet. So anyway, I was able to get it out without breaking it any further anyway. So finger tight boys, don't break your thermocouples. According to Ryan, a lot of people do. He's done it. I've done it twice. And I knew they would break and I still broke it. So be careful.